what's, what's, what's tomorrow? What are we celebrating tomorrow? You know what it's called? Memorial Day. That's why I got that those flowers out with the flags because it's we're celebrating Memorial Day. Do you know what that is? That's when we remember. Do you know? Remember the presidents? No, we remember men and women who have fought in wars and, and lost their lives. We remember their we remember them because they fought for our freedoms. We have a lot of freedoms where we live, don't we? What are some of the freedoms we have? <clears throat> freedom of worship. Freedom to come to this church. Freedom to live where you want to live, to be whatever you want to be when you grow up. We have a lot of freedoms. A lot of places, they don't have those kind of freedoms. They get told a lot of things, but here we have... We have freedoms, and that's why we need to remember the men and women in our armed services that fought so that we can have the freedoms that we have. The freedoms we have weren't free. Somebody had to fight for them so that we could have them. So we want to remember those, those men and women. But there's one other person that gave us freedom from, from death. Do you know who that is? Jesus, Jesus, God's son. He came and he gave, what What did he do, uh, uh, Charlie? <laughs> I wanted to say, oh, Charlie, do you remember what Jesus did? He died on the cross. He lived a sinless life. He came to earth and he lived here. And he died on the cross so that we can have eternal life. So he made the ultimate sacrifice. The men and women that, that uh, sacrificed in the wars, they, they made a sacrifice too, but Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice. And it says in the Bible, John 15, 13, says, greater love has no one than this. That, oh, I have to take my glasses off, I can't see it. That someone lay down his life for his friends, and Jesus laid down his life for us, didn't he? So that we could have eternal life. So let's let's remember the freedoms that we have where we live and the freedom we have through Christ, okay? This week. Let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for these kids that are here. Lord, I thank you for the freedoms that sometimes we take for granted. Lord, I pray that you'd help us never to take those for granted. Someone had the uh fight and die for us so that we can have the freedoms that we have and Lord uh, your son made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have eternal life help us never to forget that in your name I pray amen, amen. amen. somebody has their giggle box turned over this morning <laughs> bye bye